lot. Demand for Caltrain service has soared thanks to the tech industry, so it has added an extra car to some of its busiest trains. ABC 7 News reporter Matt Keller hopped on one of those trains and joins us now with the story. Matt? Well, Cheryl, it's a pretty simple formula. You need more room, add an extra car. And Caltrain did exactly that with a few of its trains, and passengers are happy to see the changes. Silicon Valley is booming like never before. Need proof? Check out the crowds on Caltrain. Standing room only. Uncomfortable standing room only. The Caltrain system is busting at the seams with four years of consecutive monthly ridership increases. It now averages 61,000 passengers a day during the week. In response, Caltrain purchased 16 used rail cars earlier this year from Southern California's Metrolink. Four were put into service today, adding a six car to all four of its Bombardier trains. Many are express or baby bullet trains. They're the most popular during the peak commute hours. The new cars are easy to spot. They have navy blue paint on a white background, standing out next to the red and gray cars. This is train 323. It's a baby bullet train, and we're in the six car. It's an extra car that provides passengers 150 more seats, giving them a little bit more elbow room, and also provides more standing room. The remaining 12 cars not in service yet need more repair work. Many of those will be converted to accommodate onboard bicycle storage. Oh, they need another car. It'd just be really helpful because in the morning, even at 5 a.m., some of the bikers get turned away at Palo Alto because there's just no room. It will take a while before those 12 remaining cars are put into service. Caltrain estimates that those cars will be on the tracks within the next year or so. Reporting live in San Jose, Matt Keller, ABC 7 News.